Hey students, so I wanted to do a quick video on this problem that you might see on Khan Academy. And it deals with two things that we've been doing in class. One is this triple right triangle right here. So you can kind of see the triple right triangle LTN um, with these small triangle here and the medium triangle right here. And then it also does refer to the whole shape as a rectangle. So that's why we know that this is a right angle here, this is a right angle here, this is a right angle, and this is a right angle. So the question asks you to find the perimeter of the entire shape. So that would involve you figuring out this side, this side, which are gonna be the same because it's a rectangle, uh, this side and this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and call uh, this one B for base and this one H for height, just so we have some variables that can represent our sides. And we can go ahead and solve for them because we know that the perimeter is going to be base plus height plus base plus height. Uh, so height is pretty easy to solve for of this rectangle because you have two sides of a right triangle. So just do Pythagorean theorem, right? So we're going to do 7.8 squared plus 10.4 squared equals the hypotenuse squared. Um, let me grab a calculator. So I usually put that in my calculator pretty quickly. I know I'm going to end up square rooting it. So I just start with a square root and then I just put that in there. So 7.8 squared plus 10.4 squared um, instead of doing each step by itself. And then if I hit enter, I end up getting 13 for that height. So this value is 13. Now to figure out this one, that's gonna be a little bit harder because I don't have this part here. So it's not like I can look at this as a big right triangle and do Pythagorean theorem again. Um, I only know this side for this triangle. So I personally think the easiest way to do this is to do the triple right triangle problem where we try to figure out, okay, so B is the hypotenuse of the small triangle, right? So this is the small triangle. So B is the hypotenuse. So for the small triangle, B is the hypotenuse and 7.8 is the medium side. You can see that this side is, is shorter, so this is the short side. So all I have to do is make a proportion to compare that to another hypotenuse medium side. So I actually know the hypotenuse and the medium side of this medium triangle right here. So for this medium triangle, I know that the hypotenuse is 13 because I just figured that out. And I know that the medium side is 10.4. So if I do cross multiplication, uh, I'll do 13 times 7.8, and then I can divide that by 10.4, and that'll give me 9.75 for this length right here, for the value of B. So to find the perimeter, I can do 13 plus 9.75 plus 13 plus 9.75. So 9.75 times two, uh, plus 13 plus 13. So 45.5. Uh, and let's see, it is in units. We don't know if it's inches or centimeters or whatever. So the basics of this are doing the Pythagorean theorem. So you can figure out one side and then really looking at this as the whole medium, small triangle type of problem and making your proportion to solve for the other side. As a side note, you could do some trigonometry, very complicated trigonometry, to figure out angles and then copy them over here and then do trigonometry again, but this is the quickest way to solve it.